Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it, all right? All right, T. Hello? He left a trust fund for you, and it was payable based on you graduating from dance school. something just tell me man I don't want to be out here looking crazy I would tell you if I knew something because it sounds like you know something cuz yo what and I'm totally scared to tell T well why are you afraid to tell him you think he'll have you killed or something I love my music but I feel like being a servant is my calling too. Yeah, okay. So like, how do I do them both at the same time? Oh, that man will praise the Lord. Come on. Ah, yeah. Seems you and my brother have been spending quite a bit of time together. Oh, he's just helping with the music. <laughs> oh, just helping with the music. <laughs> Sir, listen, can you please tell him that Audi is here? No one gets Do you in. know any other word to say? Yeah. You do Audi out? Yeah. Yeah. Bro, hold my phone. What? What do you mean, what? You've been acting weird and crazy and fidgeted and... I want you to be my wife! Oh, wait! Help! Somebody help! I'm pregnant! Somebody baby. help me! Help quick, baby! All right, just calm down, baby, I got you. Oh, just wait, God. just wait a minute, I'm calling. Oh, my Please, goodness. somebody help! Every Friday, the Word of God jumping off the pages into our hearts. And for the month of December, Amplified. Greetings, everybody. Good afternoon, good morning, good night. Whoever you are, wherever you are, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you so much, Father God, for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy, your love that never fails us, Lord. Thank you for just being kind and good and God enough, Lord, to restore, to help, to build, to encourage us. And I, we thank you for your word that jumps off the pages into our hearts. And we'll be careful to glorify you and to praise you and to give you all the honor and the glory that is due your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and thank God. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for chiming in. We're so excited about Bible Alive as we are embarking upon closing out the 2023 year um it is such a blessing to know that you have endured another year of our lord uh, don't forget you guys on december uh, the 9th 
uh, at 7 p.m. We're virtually going to be celebrating the anniversary of 16 years of business and in industry. 12 years uh, we have been highlighting Christmas Gala. That's right, we're going to be giving out Christmas gifts and prizes uh, to all of those who have served our community and even those who are in need. So I'm excited about that. Also, we are excited for the film called Sun Movie. Uh, it will be online everywhere on TV and live uh, the end of December. And we're going to be playing that movie so that you guys can enjoy it with your family members. All right, so this is the mark of December. This is Bible Live, and we're talking about the word amplified. Amplified. We're talking about the word amplified. If you know anything about the word amplified, uh, we want to give you encouragement and we want to show and give light to our family. Okay, uh, with that being said, share this message with you if you know how to do it. Or amplify has reference to increasing the volume of sound, especially using fire. We also have heard it is powered by the increase of amplitude, right, of an electrical signal or oscillation. This is good. Or the cause to become more marked or intense. Another way to look at it is to make something larger or greater as an amount or even importance and or intensity. This is such a great definition of a topic because I just believe in my spirit that we all are listening to we have to intensify. We have to make more important. We have to make more esteemed the will of God in our life. Understanding that the word amplified, we are the biggest quote from St. John chapter number 12, verse 32, and it simply says, and I, I be lifted up from you, will draw all men unto me. And I'm truly persuaded. I'm truly encouraged. I am truly, I'm truly convinced that we're living in a season and we're living in a time where we should not amplify our opinion more than the word of God. We should not amplify our emotions more in the word of God. We cannot amplify our sexuality, our orientation, our preferences more than God. So if you're watching our Bible and life moment is learning how to amplify. The Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is real. You might not do it now but you will sooner or later. And so St. John chapter number 12, verse 32, really gives us insight on the writer John, who is revealing that Jesus recognizes, that Jesus is giving us a direct message to let us know that if you lift up Jesus, he will draw all men unto himself. You don't have to woo people. You don't have to prank them. You don't have to could wake them into serving God. All you have to do is lift up the name of Jesus. We have to amplify what our faith is saying in this hour, in this generation. We have to amplify the truth rather than a lie. We have to amplify. We've got to turn up. We've got to make more important the spirit of God, righteousness in our homes. If you're watching today, if you don't know Jesus, I'm asking you that you will connect me and the Lord. I'm a sinner. Believe that Jesus died, that he rose again with all power. And now I believe I have that power. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And I believe that I'm now saved. Jesus did. Amen. God bless you, God. Thank you for watching and tuning in. Stay connected. Be faithful. Most importantly, we have to find. God bless you guys. Amen.
podcast.